Hi there, I'm Amy Ellis and this is So Modern Quilts. I was so excited to share my finished quilt top with you guys last week and I really love the just how big and graphic it is and um, while I was sewing those blocks all together I had a lot of inspiration time. Um, there was a lot of sewing to be done and it got me thinking about smaller projects to make with these blocks because um, I know that not everyone's going to sew all 100 blocks and just having a fast project to sew is um, sometimes all you need uh, just to get a quick win under your belt so to speak. So I designed a set of layouts for table runners. I've had table runners on the brain since doing the uh, the improv project, Summer of Improv, and so I made some table runner layouts. I wanted to share a few examples with you and also um, show you what I've been sewing since I, well, just since yesterday because <laughs> they're fast. So this is one table runner that I started and this is my fence block with uh, a surround of gray. So, and it comes off pretty well, but this is a 12 inch wide and it's, I called this one, three floating blocks with um and then it's 12 inches so three blocks floating in the sea of whatever background fabric you like um i love the neutrals and i love the saturated tones because it really makes it pop but i know that's not everyone's thing so lucky you you get to shop your stash and use what you love and make it unique to you and you know different blocks are going to look totally different in that layout um, but something simple and and striking is a lot of fun to make the other one I've made is with a cushion and I'm using similar colors so they kind of coordinate and this one will get um, a stripe surround uh, like a, a border around it so I'm like I said I just started yesterday and I feel really accomplished that I've gotten so much sewn, but I didn't quite get it done yet. So I'll show you some flat shot images that I've made in EQ and show you what all you guys can do with these um, simple layouts to get some fast results. And I don't know, life is busy. <laughs> Making fast, simple little projects is sometimes all you need to really... Um, soothe your creative spirit. So let's look. First I have dynamic and this is dynamic just offset and so we're just adding rectangles of fabric. This is like the simplest layout and here it is um, how it looks in the pattern so you can kind of get a feel. It's blank so <laughs> you're going to add in your own blocks, your favorite blocks, and then add in those rectangles at the top and the bottom super simple right but you get to kind of create something unique and your own and and keep going this is a fun um trying flying geese block and it's set in two sets of rectangles so that the the blocks still have that that fun movement across but um it's a little bit wider sometimes you would like a wider table runner and it just catches more stuff <laughs> when my kids were young i like the the table runner caught the water that inevitably got knocked over during the dinner hour or lunch hour or <laughs> breakfast whichever so and here's what it looks like empty we're just adding rectangles to either side to kind of um, set them off in a way that is still comfortable and easy to do next we have the open center and this is a great one for the table that often has you know a bouquet of flowers or a centerpiece of some sort you don't need to spend extra time piecing that area you can just put a large rectangle of fabric and um, and add some pieced blocks on either end and you have a really beautiful table runner um, so I have that in 12 and 15 inches all of these are available in both sizes. I did all the math, so all you have to do is cut the fabric, make your blocks, and keep going. This is the fence one that I made, and it has a few rectangles around it. So let me show you those rectangles. So it's three floating, and you just have space, and it's open and easy. And then there's also the 15 inch, so it just has a slightly wider border on the sides to give you the 
the space that you need. Here I have this simple cabin with some half square triangles. And instead of just using the um, rectangles, I thought, why not just put some half square triangles in there? And this is a fun way to um, off kind of um, add some more detail to the simple blocks, like the simple cabin. In the 15 inch, I added a second set of half square triangles to fill in that space. I really love it. This is the options block with a stripe border on it. And I think this is a lot of fun. It doesn't take up a ton of fabric because they are a smaller border and it's strip piece like I showed you with the other one. So it's not going to be super difficult to, to put together. Here's the 15 inch. And this is the one that I'm making in progress currently. It's all strip pieced and I tell you exactly how many segments to cut, how many segments to sew together to make this, the long edge and the short edge. Um, so I'm trying to make this as simple as possible while still interesting and fun and using the blocks that you've been collecting already so that you can, you know, have a fun project to work on with them. Um, I know I have a few of my own favorites, which you can probably see in these videos. It's fun to try other, other blocks and some of the more simple ones are even just as much fun in these layouts with the table runners. So I hope that gives you some fun ideas of what to do with your Modern Quilt Blocks series blocks that you've collected. I'm going to keep sewing and I will have more to show you soon, but I'm also going to work on some more layouts for other size quilts. So be looking for those really soon and I look forward to connecting with you again soon.